My name is Sarah. I am at Precision Camera and Video in Austin, Texas. Um, we're the largest camera store in Texas. Um, today I have the EOS M10 fresh off the truck. Um, this guy's pretty exciting. Um, it's the second iteration of a mirrorless camera that Canon is attempting to do. Um, this is the two lens kit. It comes with their brand new 15 to 45 STM lens and also their 55 to 200 STM lens. So um, let's just get right to it and open it up, right? Cool. So, well, here, let me show you all the packaging first. So, hopefully, I don't know if that's focusing. We'll find out. Let's do it. So this guy's cool. Um, the base price is $8.50 for the two lens kit, um, which is a pretty good price. Um, I think it's on sale right now, but that will obviously fluctuate as time goes on. So for now, I'll just say it's $8.49. Um, let's see. It's fighting me. <laughs> I hope y'all keep your things when you get a new camera. It's very important. All right, well, here's the body. It's nice, it's quite a bit smaller than the M3, which is cool. Um, we're losing a little bit of the grippy, it looks like. Um, selfie friendly, always important. There's on a super selfie kick, a lot of these cameras nowadays. Beautiful APS-C size sensor. Um, this is an 18 megapixel sensor, so this is gonna be similar to what you find in the T5i. It's gonna be like what you find in, you know, SL1, stuff like that. So, um, nothing super new. Um, it's the form factor that's new, not so much the guts per se. Um, so yeah, uh, super simple controls, it looks like. Um, we have a very simple uh, auto mode, camera mode, which I'm assuming is going to be probably like a program or scenes or of some sort, and then a video mode right there on top. So that's nice. Dedicated video button. Um, and then just not too much happening here on the back, just our menu button and the, a very similar pad that we see on some other Canon cameras. Um, we have aperture control and then we have flash control and exposure compensation, things like that, and the playback. Nice little grip. Um, yeah, it looks like, oh, rewind, oh, cool, um, so that's our flash. Um, obviously not going to be one of those ones that probably pops up on its own. I'm going to assume that we probably have to manually pop that up every time. Um, so that's pretty in there. Uh, it looks like we have a mini HDMI port, which is nice. Um, I'm not sure if that does clean out. I would kind of doubt it, but we can find out. Um, and then a standard little mini USB, USB-B. Um, it looks card slot. Oh, they put the card slot on the side of the camera. So that's kind of cool. Um, usually on cameras of this size, you find the battery compartment sharing the card slot. So, cool. Um, it's kind of a pain in the butt to get open. I hope, maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe I'm breaking it. Um, yeah, so battery compartment. Um, I believe this takes the LPE 12. I need to double check. I'll find out because I'll get out of the box right now. Um, so let's do the lenses. So this is the new guy, right? This is the new 15 to 45 STM lens. Um, so I think, I don't know if they're gonna be totally replacing the 18 to 55 STM with this. Um, I would kind of hope they would. I feel like this is probably a more exciting range. 15 is pretty wide even on an APS-C size sensor. Um, it's also one of those cool little shrink down lenses where you have to unlock it 
to pop it in and then it's locked. It's kind of taking a page out of um, Nikon 1's book and like the Olympus uh, 14 and 24, those type of lenses. Um, popular style just makes it smaller so when you're not using it, it can be all the more compact. Um, 49 thread, cool, easy to find. Um, so yeah. Put this guy on there. All right. So then we have we have another lens. We have the 55 to 200. I'm making a mess. Um, all right. So here's the 55 to 200. Um, this is not new. This is another lens that um, comes in a two lens kit with the EM or the, the M3, the OS M3. Um, as well as uh, as well as you can buy separately. So let's see. This guy's pretty big for this camera, rightfully. So I guess that's what you get whenever you have a long telephoto on an APS-C size sensor. No matter how small you try to make the camera, it doesn't say small for long. <laughs> but they tried. Um, but 52 millimeter thread, so common, very common threading to find, easy filter to get, always get your protection filter, kids. Um, so yeah. All right. Let's protect this. Oh, that's not the right one. Cool. Okay. So let's get all the other goodies out. All right, so I'm breaking things. Strap, cool mini little EOS strap. It's cute, very cute. Um, charger, wall charger. Thank God. I love when they give wall chargers. I don't know about you, but I am not a huge fan of cameras that plug in via USB. Yes, I get that can be convenient for travel, but it means that if you want to have a backup battery charging at the same time, you cannot, you have, well, you have to buy a charger. You have to buy any, either third party or a dedicated charger. It's just more money you have to spend. That's no fun. So this comes with a wall charger, which is great. Um, uh, it comes with a USB cable. Um, not sure if it charges via USB. Um, for some reason, I, I would kind of doubt it would, but you never know. It's possible. Um, that's everything in the box. So I think we did the unboxing part of it pretty much. Let's see if the battery has any juice. All right, so on and off switch. All right, so it looks like the on and off switch, it's a button you press in and then you flip it to switch the modes. Cool. Touch screen, Canon loves the touch screen. Um, not going to set the time because it's boring. Set the lens to shooting position. Bam. We are in business. Cool. So there we have it. Um, yeah, so just a few little facts about this guy. I mean, we're looking at 18 megapixel sensor. Um, ISO cap is 25,600. Wouldn't use it past like 32, if it was me. Digic 6 processor, so nice they put one of the more current processors in it, even though it's one of the older sensors. Um, it has the hybrid AF2, which is not as good as the dual pixel CMOS that we see in like the 70D um, or 70 Mark II, but it's still pretty decent, still pretty decent. Um, yeah, does 4.6 frames per second, 1080 HD video, um, yeah, we can do selfies. All day. Maybe. Interesting. That feels interesting. I can't tell if I'm halfway pressing it down or not. I don't think I am. But yeah, well, there you have it. The specs are everywhere. You can look them up. Um, we can go into more detail later on it, but that is the unboxing of the EOS M10. Um, again, my name is Sarah. I'm at Precision Camera in Austin, Texas. So yeah, come by, check it out. We're going to have this one out on display starting right now. 
Um, so yeah, come play. Check this out along with some other great mirrorless cameras. And I'll see you next time.